How's it going everybody? Dragon Twilight here, and we are jumping on the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 bandwagon. I had started a recording of this, made it through a couple tries of night two, but my recording didn't do so well. So, yeah. I'm not exactly happy at the moment. Uh, gonna start in at night one again for you guys. Luckily, night one's easy. <laughs> kind of. Uh, new game. Fuck you. <laughs> Five days until the party. I don't want to go to the party. Ugh. I had Foxy pop into my closet at 2 a.m. And he did his little spooky, ah, and I was able to close the closet doors on him. How, how does his mechanic work? I, it, it, I, I don't know yet. It's, uh, okay. What did he do this time? He locked you in your room again. Don't be scared. I am here with you. You're one of the ones who frightens me. You're one of the ones who frightens me with your eyes that follow me around all over the place. These are my friends, except they scare the crap out of me. Yeah, bang on the door a few times. Uh, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I don't want to play this game again. Uh, tomorrow is another day, and I gotta survive the night. I don't want to survive the night. I don't want to go through another night of this. Oh, God. Yay, night one. Click here to run to the door. Uh, and it's got this little thing where it has to load that bit. My computer kind of sucks on occasion. Hmm? Yeah, if you hear breathing, uh, shut the door. If not, use the flashlight. Run back. And look down, look behind you. <coughs> I need you, Freddy. Don't leave me, friend. Click here to run to this door. Is it any different, or is it just breathing? Yeah, it's just breathing again. All right, so I know what's going on then. I I don't want to do this. You're Foxy, you're a pain in the ass. Luckily, you're not here yet. Hopefully, your creepy phone. Is there anything I can click? No, damn it. I'm already tense and I'm replaying night one, which is supposed to be the easy night. Ah. Uh, and then there's these little things that pop up behind me. It's uh, I don't I don't like it, but I love this type of game. It's so scary. I don't hear anything. Mm-hmm. And there's this little mechanic in between the nights where you can, uh, shave off a couple hours. I'm hoping I can play it properly this night without having to repeat. Because if you repeat, you lose that two-hour bonus. And nothing's bugging me yet. I hear something creeping around. <sighs> I'm so tense. And if only it had worked the a freaking recording. Mm, 
go back. 2 a.m. Yay! 3 a.m. Yay! Oh, he's down there. Hi, Bonnie. Go away, freaking Bonnie. Ah, so tense already. That's only 3 a.m. on night one. Go away. What do those things even do? I'm thinking of doing a night where I just fail just to see what those guys do. I hear a radio. I hear a radio. No breathing yet, but Chica's down there. Chica's down there. Uh, yeah, the little loading things. I know something's gonna pop up when my game freezes for a little bit. Uh, okay, no breathing yet. We're up to 4 a.m. Oh God, help me, go away, I don't want to deal with you. Mm. That's right, stay away. I just got to last until 6 a.m. Go away, you little creeper. Heart attacks. This game definitely has a sharp, spooky curve compared to the other ones. It goes from zero to sixty in the scare department. Oh god. And the worst part about this mechanic is that pause and you think you're safe. So, you know, you turn the light on and then boom boo boo all of a sudden just yay, six AM Ah, made it through night one. Oh uh, yay. Alrighty. Yeah, I get it at six AM. Thank you, thank you. I survived a freaking night. Four days until the party! <laughs> Alrighty, so I'll leave the night one recording there. Yeah, you know, he is hiding again, I know. We'll get into the rest of this night two. See you later, everyone. Have a good one.